So many of you reached us, reached out to us about, it's about a well-known pet in our community. Many of you have seen Dennis the Emu running around town. A lot of folks have seen him at Garden of the Gods. He went missing this week. 11 News reporter Cameron Dean is joining me now. Cameron, you went straight to Fountain as soon as you heard that he was found. His owner put a call out to the community for help, Lindsay, and so many people answered. I met the hero of the day. Okay, we found the bird. He's okay. And he seems okay. He's got some minor injuries on his legs. A moment of joy and relief Friday morning for the owner of Dennis the Emu. He was missing for nearly a day until this moment. And who we have to thank for this is Jet. We'll get to Jet in a second. Let's go back to the beginning. It was a normal Thursday for Dennis and his owner, Billy Sue Mitchell, as she was taking him out for a walk in Fountain. And he just went running and I lost, I lost control of him. And um, so he went, um, well, I obviously can't keep up with him. He can run 35 miles an hour and he did. A unique pet like Dennis is easy to spot. But this time, after an entire night went by, Billy Sue called in some four-legged help. Jet sniffed him out from feathers and um, gosh, 15 minutes. 15 minutes and he was hidden around his feet were completely bound with his leash so he was hog tied to the ground jets owner courtney farrell tells me jets nose is always prepared for a search mission he has been trained since puppyhood to understand he's probably got hundreds of words was able to say help billy find big bird and he understood exactly what we were after with the help of Jet, a day that seemed hopeless completely turned around. Today was a cruddy day to start with, but it's turned out to be the most wonderful day. Yeah. Mitchell told us she is super grateful for the outpouring support from the community and had no idea how much of celebrity he is. Oh, he is. Yes. There are pictures all over Facebook. People were very concerned about this bird. Right. And now I have a feeling, I, I think you said earlier today in our meeting that the dog and the bird were already friends. Yeah. Now they're like lifelong buddies. Right. And they exactly. both deserve all the treats. Yes. <laughs> Cameron, thanks so much.